Hello and welcome to our 2020 online service of nine lessons and carols filmed here in the parish of Tiddenham. Before the service begins I just wanted to give a quick message to everybody. I won't go on for ages so please hang on in there before the service begins. Firstly, as we know this is going to be a very different Christmas for us all this year. However, we are endeavouring to provide as many opportunities as possible for people to be able to worship together. There'll be the online worship, of course, together with outdoor services and indoor services. Uh, the information can be found in the weekly briefing on the notice boards of the churches and hopefully maybe even on the screen as I'm speaking. It'd be lovely to see you. If you're wanting to come to the services, please do book with Claire. Secondly, usually at the Nine Lessons service and other Christmas services, we give an appeal to support those charities that are work, working with the most vulnerable in society. This year that number has greatly increased due to the issues with Covid and so I just want to ask if you are able to support financially those charities that are helping those in greatest need then it would be great if you are able to respond to that appeal. Again the details can be found on the website or the parish briefing um, or even on the screen. Thank you all for your generosity over the years that's enabled us to give fantastic amounts of money uh, to those charities. Hopefully we can do that again this year. The parish also would greatly benefit from your support especially as we haven't had any physical collections or not the same amount of collections this year. So if you're able to support and gift to the parish this year that would be fabulous. Again, the details are either on the screen um, or on the website. It would be great to, to have your support. Thank you. Finally, it's a great joy to be a part of this community and live amongst these parishes. I just want you to know that you're all held in prayer um, every day, every week. And myself, my fabulous colleagues, my co-workers and fellow disciples and the BCCs across Tidenham, St Breville's and Hulesfield hope and pray with all our hearts that you may know God's protection during this pandemic. His presence, particularly those of you who are feeling lonely or frightened about a ghastly year, and his transforming love which makes us come alive as human beings. May you know God with you over these days and when the time comes I hope you are able to have a very, very happy Christmas, or as happy a Christmas as possible. God bless you and thank you. Enjoy the service and the wonderful contributions from across the community. Once in
In the name of Christ and his Church, I bid you welcome today. We have come together as the family of God in our Father's presence to celebrate the festival of Christmas. And it is our care and delight to hear again the message of the angels, and in heart and mind to go even unto Bethlehem and see this thing which is come to pass, and the babe lying in the manger. Therefore, let us read and mark in Holy Scripture the tale of the loving purposes of God from the first days of our disobedience unto the glorious redemption brought us by this holy child. But first, let us pray for the needs of the whole world. For peace on earth and goodwill among all his people, for unity within the church he came to build, and especially in the Diocese of Gloucester and these parishes of Tidnam and St Breville's with Hulesfield and Brockweir. For the world which is already Christ's, that those who bear responsibility for its future in politics, in industry, in business, and in education and communication, and particularly for those in healthcare and with responsibility for responding to the coronavirus pandemic and rolling out a vaccine. May they be inspired by the message of Christmas to work together for the establishment of justice, freedom, well-being and peace everywhere. And let us remember in his name the poor and helpless, the cold, the hungry and the oppressed, the sick and them that mourn, the lonely and the unloved, the aged and the little children, all those who know not the Lord Jesus, or who love him not, or who by sin have grieved his heart of love. Lastly, let us remember before God all those who rejoice with us, but upon another shore and in a greater light, that multitude which no one can number, whose hope was in the word made flesh, and with whom, in the Lord Jesus, we are forever one. These prayers and praises let us humbly offer up to the throne of heaven in the words which Christ himself hath taught us. Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. The Thought that evening they heard the Lord God walking in the garden, and they hid from him among the trees. But the Lord God called out to the man, Where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, I was afraid, and hid from you, because I was naked. Who told you that you were naked? God asked. Did you eat the fruit that I told you not to eat? The man answered, The woman you put here with me gave me the fruit, and I ate it. The Lord God asked the woman, Why did you do this? She replied, The snake tricked me into eating it. Then the Lord God said to the snake, You will be punished for this. You alone of all the animals must bear this curse. From now on you will crawl on your belly, and you will have to eat dust as long as you live. I will make you and the woman hate each other. Her offspring and yours 
will always be enemies. Her offspring will crush your head, and you will bite her offspring's heel. Thanks be to God.
Messiahs of earth. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace. For the throne of David and his kingdom, he will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness. From this time onwards and forevermore, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Thanks be to God.
Messiah will be born in Bethlehem. You, O Bethlehem of Ephrathah, who are one of the little clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to rule in Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient days. Therefore he shall give them up until the, the time when she who is in labour is brought forth. Then the rest of his kindred shall return to the people of Israel, and he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God, and they shall live secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth. Thanks be to God. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy, 
he will be called Son of God. And now your relative Elizabeth, in her old age, has also conceived a son. And this is the sixth month for her, who was said to be barren, for nothing will be impossible with God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. And then the angel departed from her. Thanks be to God.
the shepherds go to the manger. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and, and on earth peace among those whom he favours. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. Thanks be to God. The Word became flesh. 
In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light, the true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God.
thank you so much to all of those who contributed to the 2029 Lessons and Carol Service. And thank you to all of you who have contributed to the life of this parish of Tiddenham and neighbouring St Bravels and Hulesfield and Brockwear too. All of you, all of you who play a part in our churches and communities, thank you for making this a special place to live. With a particular thank you to those who played a role in supporting us through this very hard time, this difficult year we've had. Thank you. Do attend or tune into worship over Christmas if you're able. There's several things that will be available for you for real in our church buildings or online. As we celebrate the hope, the peace, the joy and love that comes through Jesus Christ the light of the world, the one who is with us always. And so a final blessing. Let the just rejoice, for their justifier is born. Let the sick and infirm rejoice, for their saviour is born. Let the captives rejoice, for their redeemer is born. Let slaves rejoice, for their master is born. Let the free rejoice, for their liberator is born. Let all Christians rejoice, for Jesus Christ is born. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit, be upon each one of you, your homes and those you love, this day, this Christmas time, and always. Amen. Amen. My son and treasured one of Thank you.